Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about and walking through KCollect's brand new website. I'm familiar with their app when they were just starting out, but it's my first time trying out their desktop version. So let's get started. Their website is www.kcollect.net. It's very important to note .net because .com may take you to a completely different website. Only sign up for the one that ends with .net. Here on their front page is where you will sign up. Now the developer did say that even if you had the app before, you will need to sign up for a new account. Unfortunately, they also got rid of the username feature, so you can only log in using your email address. Your email address will not be public on your account. Just a brief introduction to KCollect for those who are unfamiliar with it. It is a K-pop collection tracker mainly focused on photo cards and albums for K-pop groups and soloists. Think of it as a wish list, but a wish list that you can access on the go. So their site allows you to keep track of your photo cards and album collection, and you can also share your collection with your friends. They are still working on their mobile companion apps available with iOS and Android to improve it and work on bugs. I'm not sure if they're improving their existing app or creating a brand new one, since people will need to sign up with a new account on their website. It will be a hassle to create a brand new app, not just for the developer, but also for users, especially those who have already put in hours on tracking their collection. Some other features they have, which I believe were not in the app, are album summaries. You can get more info about an album, as well as members in a group, with their Wikipedia-like feature. What's interesting is that it looks like they will eventually have a market and value data for albums to see how much they cost. Though I have opinions about the photo card market, I wonder if they'll also have a feature for people to know how rare photo cards are valued. They also plan to have a group order program, which I find interesting, considering group order managers, or GOMs, already have established their own system, as well as one of the first GOM programs I know of, which is GOM Drop. So I'm curious to see how theirs will differ from others. I already signed up prior to filming just to preview some of the features, but on their front page is where you will sign up if you're new to KCollect. So here is how the dashboard looks like once you've signed up. You have the counter for your album collection and photo card collection. You can add your favorite groups or artists. For latest releases, I'm not sure what that is, but I think it may be for groups you add to your favorites if they're having a comeback. On the right side, this is where it will show you albums and or photo cards you've purchased and are on the way. This helps keep track of your purchases, especially if you tend to buy a lot or actively trade within the community. On the left, you have the browse button to search up groups or artists. You have my collection, which is where you will see what you've added to your collection, and a comeback calendar for all recent releases. For the comeback calendar, I think they're still working on updating this because it says here that RM's Indigo album was released on January 15th, 2023, but I'm pretty sure it was released late 2022, so I don't know where they got that info from. And so far, they haven't added anything for February, though I think there aren't any February comebacks announced yet. The Browse section has its own page where you will find their recommendations and the KCollect staff's Artists and Album of the Week. On the search bar in the Browse section, you can look up any group or artist that you collect albums or photo cards from. So I'm going to use EXO as an example since I collect Suho from both groups and solo projects. Once you search, it will give you the option of looking it up by group, subgroups, albums, companies, and members. It does take a few seconds for everything to load, so just be patient. Whichever one you click, it will bring you to another page that will give you a little bit more info about that specific group, such as when they debuted, how many albums they have, how many active members they have, which company they're from, and how many collectors follow them on the website. 
Again, you will see all of their albums and their members. Keep in mind that for EXO, and perhaps for other groups that have went through a similar situation, they do have all 12 original members listed. And I will leave it at that. I clicked on Suho, which brings me to another page that shows which photo cards of his I want to access. Since he is a part of a group, does solo work, and participates in their company's collaborations, it will show three different areas which I can look through to see the photo cards from those projects. I was a little bit confused here on how to get to the actual photo cards page because when I clicked on one of the pictures, it just brought me back to their group's main page. But I realized you need to click on the drop down box on the right hand side and choose the project you want to see the photo cards from and it will pop up. From the looks of it, they don't have everything yet, which is understandable since there's so many groups with so many photo cards. And another thing to mention is that K-Collect has their own staff who are also fans slash collectors. From what I've gathered on Twitter, some of the fans are assigned either a specific group or a specific member from a group, and they are the ones that gather the photo card scans to add to the website. I also saw that K-Collect allows you, a non-staff, to submit scans of photo cards that may not be on their site just yet. So I selected a photo card that I already have in my collection. It will tell you which album it's from and which version it is if there's multiple versions. It also shows you how many people are looking for it and how many people have it in their collections. When you scroll down, it will show you the other photo cards from the same album. On the right hand side is where you will select what you want to do with it. If you don't plan on collecting it, you just leave it under don't need. If you are looking for it, you select looking for and add the quantity. Now you might be wondering why you would need to add quantity. My theory for this is that this could be a helpful feature for those hosting group orders who want to give their joiners their number one choice for their album pulls. Or I also know a few collectors that like to have a full four or nine pocket page of the same photo card. Now, if you already have the photo card, you'll just have to click on have and add the quantity again. If you bought the photo card, but it's still on the way, you will toggle on the on the way button below quantity. You can also add notes about it, such as who you bought it from or where it will be coming from, as well as adding in a tracking number if you have one. Now, when you go back to your dashboard, it will show you how much you've added to your collection. To add a group or artist to the list of artists you follow, just go to their page again and click on the star next to their name. Now, when you go back to your dashboard, it will show up under your favorite artists or group. Now I'm going to try to add a card I'm looking for. I chose NCT's Jongu for this one since I have one photo card I still need. For the one I'm looking for, I went straight to the album, which is two baddies. But it looks like they weren't done uploading all the photo cards yet. So I decided to just choose a random NCT photo card just to try out the looking for button. But then their website significantly slowed down for me. So when I find that there's issues with a site, the first place I check is Twitter to see if they posted about a known issue. However, in KCollect's case, looking through their page, it looks like there's nothing going on. So it's either just their site that's slow or my internet. When I did go back to the site, it finally loaded. So I used NCT Tails photo card, selected looking for, but also I tried out the on the way feature and added a random tracking number just to see how it will appear on the dashboard. It appeared on the on the way section under photo cards and once you click on it, it basically just takes you back to the same page where you made your selections. I think there's still a lot of improvements that need to be done with the site such as the slow loading times and how there's so many pages you have to get through before getting to the actual photo card. For me personally, I'd be perfectly content with a three-step click process. One, select search to look for the group. 
Two, select the member. Three, select the photo card you want to add to your collection. The website makes it more convoluted than it should be, which makes a simple wish list more appealing. I still recommend trying out KCollect and see if it's something that will help you with your collection. I hope this was informative and gave you a bit of insight on one of the first K-pop collecting apps slash websites out there that I know of. See you all in my next video. Oh, <laughs>